thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. And today we'll be taking a look at Terrain Crate's Crystal Peaks Camp by Mantic Game. So we'll get this box open. I purchased this at my friendly local game store, $30. Uh, Brian, who you know from this channel, uh, he liked these. He didn't realize I liked them. So I took a set off the store's hand. So we get one large plastic bag with three smaller bags in it with all the accoutrement of this set. But let's get this on a mat and see what it looks like. All right, so I have the Crystal Peaks Camp set up on my urban uh, mat from Frontline Gaming. Um, this is the park in the center of the board. So I know when you look at this terrain, you think season one of Walking Dead. Uh, and it served great for that. But you can put it in other environments. Say you want to do a scenario of where people occupy a park in a city. Uh, it'll work just fine for that. And you have appropriate garbage cans and garbage spilled over everywhere. Now, the thing I want to check is this is sold as being scaled for 28 millimeter, but I run everything from 28 millimeter games um, to 35 millimeter games uh, with Batman and Cyberpunk Red up to 40 millimeter with Marvel Crisis Protocol. And we've done some other videos of where we mix and match the various terrains uh, to see how they look together. So on the roads here, you can see we have the cars and the garbage truck from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, the car would probably pass, but as usual, the garbage truck is just a beast. Um, but you know, if you took the trash can out of it, it just looks like a big garbage truck. So we can make this uh, 40 millimeter MCP fit in. When you think about the tents, it's not going to be the surrounding terrain that draws from it. It's going to be how the miniatures fit in it. But in the back, you can see we have a piece of terrain from Knight's Models Batman miniature game. Uh, so let's slide in. That's scaled at 35 millimeter, and you can definitely tell that. Uh, the first run rise is above three inches that we normally see in the 28 millimeter range. But let's say homeless people take up residence out front of the gun shop, which they do sometimes. They just look like some of the little tents. Uh, the chair, that would probably be like a kid's chair um, for camping. So the thing I'm noticing about this terrain is outside the 28 millimeter when you move it up into like the 35 millimeter and the 40 millimeter let's slide in the MCP building it actually works pretty well with the 40 millimeter MCP building because we noticed with the MCP terrain they really scaled it to the standard 3 inch height that you see 28 millimeter use such as Infinity uh, Spectre Operations Reality's Edge of where 3 inches equals 1 level so since that's scaled to 28 millimeter, this 28 millimeter terrain actually goes pretty well with the MCP terrain. So you could have your homeless people camping out in front of the donut shop. They actually normally go hang out in the back of the donut shop, but regardless. Uh, so the Crystal Peaks camp set's working pretty well here. Um, another piece of terrain from uh, 3DP Design Labs. Uh, warehouse set just in case we decide to do like a zombie last days all out war type scenario let's say people take up residence inside a warehouse this is a uh, true scale to 28 millimeter um, Aaron who works at 3dp design lab something she's been playing with so this fits in just fine with that so now that I know this camp set would fit in with a lot of my existing terrain ranges, let's see how it compares with some of the different model ranges. And since this is Mantic Games, let's start off with some of the models we see from their All Out War set. So the 28 millimeter individuals there. So you got a zombie, 
and an old guy. So since these were designed for the same post-apocalyptic zombie, they look great in here. But I don't have a lot of those miniatures. I don't play All Out War. Something I could use it for is Spectre. So let's get some of my Spectre 28 millimeter close protection agent guys in through here. And you can see that they're scaled perfectly to be running through the can. Got my Denzel over there. All right, so these guys look good. If we go to a heroic, say Anvil Industries 28 millimeter range. So heroic beefy scale. Once again, works just fine. The, the trick I've noticed to comparing this is where do the trash cans come up to them? Are they waste baskets? Are they trash cans? How does it look? And all these guys look like they would fit in the tents and sit in the chairs. So it's working pretty well across multiple ranges there. Now let's take Fallout at 32 millimeter. And let's say in our far future post-apocalyptic land, we've got Fallout. And actually, it looks like that would do pretty well in there. So Fallout would work, but something, since I've got a Batman building in the back, something larger than Fallout at its 32 millimeter range is Batman at the 35 millimeter range. I think this is where some of it starts breaking down um, with certain pieces. Now, I'm not expecting my Batman mercenary to play on the teeter-totter or the uh, whirly gig there. Um, but we got a cooler. That seems fine. Now, the trash can and the grill, they start shrinking. But if you've been camping enough, they make these things shorter, so that could work. And compared to the tents, the fire... Like I said, they make tents of all sizes, so it actually seems like he'd fit in there pretty well. And the bottles of soda and other drinks look like they'd fit in his hand. Now, since I've got some kids' uh, playground equipment here, I have uh, some Cyberpunk Red. These are their uh, Cyberpunk Generation Red, so these are supposed to be preteen children or like 13, 14 year old children. Now, these are great in Batman miniature game. Looks like they're scaled for 35 millimeter. He's shorter, so this is playground equipment here. So, uh, it looks like he could ride on it, but at 35 millimeter scale, it looks like the children's playground equipment would be more for toddlers and not for 11 to 14 year old olds uh, there. Now, let's go big. And see how this does with the 40 millimeter range. Um, once again, the cooler, cooler and the tents seem like they work pretty well. Just because camping equipment has various sizes um, for people. Uh, once again, just like with the larger 35 millimeter range for Batman, um, the grill um, and the chairs uh, and the garbage can start looking small. But if you took these out of the picture, since Marvel Crisis Protocol has its own garbage cans, uh, everything else uh, could look in the scale there. It would just be a short blanket. You, you just say that these are um, women's sleeping, or women or children's sleeping bags there. But let's talk about what you'd really use this terrain for. So, you notice you got a collapsed tent, knocked over picnic baskets. This is a great set if you ever wanted to war game random attacks of bears looking for picnic baskets. Um, which, you know, I thought of it and might be a joke, but using Spectre's rules for zombies, you could just have wave of wave of bears and rats try to raid your picnic baskets. So that could be fun. Overall, really good kit at $30. And something I should point out is I do not see mold lines, and this plastic is thick. That is some thick stuff. So I know I will drop these repeatedly, but very solidly done. Uh, light mold lines here. 
I'm actually more interested in mold lines around the tent, which there don't be, appear to be any, because that'll be the focal piece of the set here. So, final assessment, Crystal Peaks camp set, $30, great buy, usable across multiple um, range scales, urban, park, squatting, up through, you know, Yosemite, bear attacks, this is a great buy. All right, well, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I forgot to mention the duck. Oh, look at that, you got a little, <laughs> little duck there. All right, we'll see you later.